Isaac Newton. Some students inscribed their names on the wall of the King's School. A student also inscribed Isaac Newton on the wall. He was Isaac Newton, a mathematician, scientist, and astronomer who formulated the law of universal gravitation. Newton was born in Lincolnshire, England, on the morning of Christmas in 1642. He was a very weak baby. His father died when he was very young, so he was brought up by his mother and maternal grandmother, who did hard field work in order to support his family. One day, his mother remarried a church minister who lived in a neighboring village. So Newton lived with his maternal grandmother alone. He longed to see his mother so much that he shed tears by the window every day. Newton was timid and shy, but he asked his grandmother many questions out of curiosity. When they walked along a river together, he asked her questions about flowers, grass, windmills, and many other things. Newton wanted to make everything he had seen in picture books or on fields. He took out a saw and a hammer from the storehouse and made a wooden boat, a desk, and a chair. His maternal uncle and grandmother praised his hand skills. As years elapsed almost unnoticed, Newton was old enough to go to school, but he hated it. I'm afraid of the teacher, and other children are all taller than me. But his grandmother persuaded him to go to school. Newton was teased by other children as a coward crybaby in school. But he was too timid to say a word in response. He was at the bottom of his class. He hated school more than before. Newton also preferred making things to studying at home. Although he surprised people by making a water clock and a sundial, his uncle and grandmother wanted him to be interested in studying. One day, his uncle Eska said to Newton, Do you hate studying? No. But there is no one who will teach me how to solve difficult problems. Uncle Eska stroked Newton's head and said, Don't ask others, but try to solve them with patience. You can do it. Newton nodded his head after hearing his uncle's remark. It was when Newton was a sixth grade student when he was experimenting with a water wheel he had made in the school, an ill-natured boy called John came up to him and picked a fight. Although Newton had been patient so far, he attacked John and gave him a severe beating. After that, no one called him Coward Newton again. One day, Newton was thinking, if I can't get the better of John in education, I can't win a real victory over him. With his can-do confidence, he studied hard. Instead, he neglected making things, which was his favorite hobby. Newton entered the King's School in Grantham on the recommendation of his uncle. He met and talked a lot with his friends rather than studied, and his academic results were not very good. However, he was still at the top of his class in making things. Each year, a kite-flying contest was held in Grantham. Newton participated in it in order to test the kite he had made. His scientifically made kite flew the highest in the sky so he won the first prize. Newton's remarried mother returned to his house after her husband died. At last, he dropped out of school and worked as a farmer in order to support his family.
but his mind was always filled with such thoughts as the following. How does the wind blow? How fast is the windmill turning? At last, his family had a meeting and decided to let him go back to school. After returning to King's School, Newton studied hard and finally graduated with honors. Then he entered the University of Cambridge. Newton was absorbed in research after entering the university. He started to research the law of universal gravitation after seeing an apple fall on his head while reading a book under a tree. After graduation from the University of Cambridge, he continued his researches until he became a professor at the age of 27 on the recommendation of a professor. While doing astronomical research after making a reflecting telescope that was much better than the existing ones, he became a member of the Royal Society. When Newton was 42 years old, he published Principia, the book of his researches. All the other scholars were surprised and praised his researches. Afterwards, he continued to announce his research results. Newton remained single all his life. He not only conducted researches, but also trained new scholars and served his country as a member of Parliament. He also served as President of the Royal Society. After overcoming his childhood hardship and adversity, and contributing a lot to science, along with many theories on the basis of his great patience and can-do attitude, Newton died at the age of 85 on March 20, 1727. The name Isaac Newton he inscribed is still on the discolored wall of the King's School as a good memory of his reputation.